What can women lose and get back? Well, I'll tell you the answer right after this. Today we're talking about hair loss in women. Well, many African American women take pride in their hair, and women in general spend an abundance of time and money on this important feature. Well, for African American women, adequate hair care often involves some combination of processing, straightening, mousing, gelling, hot oil conditioning, there's relaxing, there's coloring, there's braiding, there's weaving, it goes on and on and on. But ironically, amid a culture in which the ladies care so much for their hair, hair loss is especially prevalent. African American women already have to contend with the typical worries of female pattern baldness, androgenetic alopecia, which exists among 21 million women in the U.S. alone. Well, additionally, African American women also have to deal with two other rampant hair loss conditions. One is traction alopecia. Two, there is central cicatricial centrifugal alopecia, big mouthful. But traction alopecia is the gradual loss of hair due to a frequent or constant abrasive pulling force on the hair. See, this is the leading cause of hair loss among African American women because of the cultural hairstyling which frequently involves extensions, that's when the lower rear scalp hair is tightly braided into the horizontal rows to have their have hair additions sewn in with thread. This adds length and thickness to the existing hair. Then there's weaving. When hair additions are added all over the head, not just to the lower rear scalp, this can be done through braiding, fusion, bonding, and netting. Whether the technique uses uh, braid threading or glue, both are damaging and can lead to hair loss in African American women and others. Then there's braiding and cornrows. This styling choice involves braiding all of the hair, sometimes braiding hair additions into the existing hair, which is knotted at the root. The hair may hang loose from the head or be braided in the tight rows of French braids, which are called cornrows. Then there's ponytails. When the hair is pulled back tightly from the face and gathered into one or more of the bunches with a rubber band or hair tie. Then there's the barrettes. Well, who'd ever thought this would be a problem? I mean, a styling accessory to hold the hair in place can even lead to hair loss in African American women over time. Well, a, self, a sufferer of traction alopecia will begin to see gradual and noticeable hair loss among the peripheral margins of the scalp. This includes the interior and the posterior hairline, the temples and behind the ears, due to these popular hairstyles that many African American women will experience traction alopecia. Now let's talk about the other form, the central cicatricial centrifugal alopecia. And we're going to have a quiz at the, bottom, at the end of the show and you'll be able to spell that, okay? Well, this condition, more simply referred to as CCCA, is a form of traction alopecia in association with, I'm going to hit the nerve here, chemical relaxers, oils, gels, dyes, bleaches that essentially weaken the keratin structure of the follicle, thus reducing its tensile strength. Other names for CCCA include hot comb alopecia, there's pseudopallade in African Americans, follicular degeneration syndrome. This number two leading cause of hair loss among African American women is a source for thinning not only along the periphery of the scalp, but also at the center. Consistent chemical processing of the hair, along with frequent pulling hairstyles, make for an unfavorably combination with regard to maintaining a full, healthy head of hair. Now, some women tell me that after a relaxer, perhaps one that was left on too long or one that was too strong, they notice that their hair is suddenly shorter. In this case, the trauma was because of the relaxer. Other women who have used peroxide containing hair dye and then immediately relax their hair have noticed breakage. Well, in this case, the trauma was from the combination of the two chemicals applied to the hair. 
Still others will report that they are doing nothing different in regard to their hair care practices, that they've always relaxed, they've blow dried, they flat iron their hair every two weeks, and often they can identify the cause of the breakage uh, with some of the examples that I've given you today, but not always. But what can you do if you notice hair breakage? You know, there are several simple measures that can be done to stop and reverse your hair breakage. First, recognize that your hair is breaking and take action. By that, I mean sometimes we can find it difficult to recognize or even admit that our hair is breaking. The experience can be very traumatic. And if you suspect breakage, ask your hairstylist or a family member to take a look at your hair to determine if there are any areas that are shorter than others. If that is the case, it is time to take action. Now, if you have a relaxer in your hair, analyze how often you get a touch-up. Ask yourself if you could be getting touch-ups too often. For some women, using relaxers too often can damage and weaken the hair shaft and cause breakage. Generally, touch-ups are performed every six to eight weeks, and you need to determine if you can possibly space your relaxer out every eight to 10 weeks or longer, particularly during the winter months when there is little to no humidity and your hair is less likely to revert. Now, can you use moisturizers more consistently to smooth and tame the new growth until it's time for a touch-up? Well, can you use a wide tooth comb to gently comb the hair beginning at the ends and working up towards the root to minimize breakage? Can you avoid pulling and tugging the hair when combing a new growth? Well, combining two chemical processes such as permanent hair dyes or highlights containing hydrogen peroxide with relaxers can lead to damaged hair shafts and breakage. I generally su suggest picking one of the other chemical treatments and avoid using both chemical treatments in your hair. However, if you do use both chemicals, do not have them done at the same time, but rather wait several weeks after applying one to your hair before applying the other. See, additionally, Condition your hair regularly and minimize heat from blow dryers and curling or flat irons if you have both chemicals in your hair. Then there's excessive heat. How many of us, including me, live on a blow dryer? And I'm not talking about the one you stick your head under, I'm talking about the one you hold in your hand. Excessive heat may also damage the hair and produce hair breakage. You know, this may be from hot combs, curling irons, flat irons, blow dryers, hooded dryers, or just hot rollers. Who uses rollers anymore, by the way? You know, I remember when my aunt used to put those big uh, juice uh, cans as rollers. I always thought that was kind of weird. But anyway, do not use these implements more than once a week. Now, see if you can decrease the heat that is generated from them by turning the setting down. It may take you a little longer to get it dry, but it could do your hair wonders. Roll, pin, curl, or wrap your hair at night so that you do not have to apply heat in the form of curling irons or flat irons every morning. Well, the hair of many African American women is very fragile and studies have demonstrated that normal brushing and combing the hair can result in breakage. Well, brushing your hair a hundred times a day is a no-no for our hair. I know, kind of goes against everything a woman's ever learned. Well, only comb and brush your hair to style it. Also avoid rubber bands or other implements that can physically cut into and break the hair shaft. Natural hairstyles are not immune to the possibility of hair breakage. If twist or locks are twisted too tightly, hair breakage may occur. And have you experienced a twist, a lock, or a braid snapping off? Well, also, hair care practices that you could once tolerate, relaxers, blow drying, flat ironing, may result in breakage at another time in your life. Just like your body, your hair changes. If hair begins to break, ask your stylist what you can do differently. You know, you might wear, well, some of you are not going to like this, but you might wear a wig for a period of time or smooth your hair back uh, in a loose ponytail. Trim the damaged ends of the hair. Wash and condition the hair every two weeks. Well, stay with me, because I'm going to be right back with a great program that helps to improve the health of your hair, the health of your scalp, 
helps to strengthen the hair, gets it to grow again, and it prevents them from falling out. So ladies, stay with me. There's nothing to fear because I've got a great roomie for you right after this. Cold and flu season got you down? It doesn't have to. Use Nutritional Living's Monolaurin to help your body shield itself from the germs we encounter each and every day. Monolaurin has been shown to be active against flu virus, Epstein-Barr, yeast fungal infections, viral infections, ringworm, and even H. pylori. Monolaurin is perfectly suited for those who travel. On the road or in the air, Nutritional Living's Monolaurin is the immune system protection you can't leave home without. Call 1-800-620-9975 and place your order from Monolaurin. Only available from Nutritional Living. All Natural Bergamonte has been clinically shown to reduce cholesterol and support healthy blood glucose control. It may also support healthy weight loss, promote cardiovascular health, and increase good cholesterol. Bergamonte, the natural way to improve glucose, cholesterol, and cardiovascular health. For more information on Bergamonte, call 877-903-9657. Introducing Nutritional Living's Thyroid Complete. Thyroid Complete is a vegetarian blend of tyrosine with herbs, vitamins, and minerals not found in other supplements to help support the proper function of a healthy thyroid gland. Thyroid Complete normalizes and enhances thyroid gland health, improves energy and mood, and controls appetite. Start improving your health today with Nutritional Living's Thyroid Complete. Call 1-800-620-9975 or visit nutritional-living.com. If you want a healthy body, feed it what it needs. Your sickness and your illness is not a permanent condition unless you choose it to be that way. Hello, this is Lisa Osteen Comas from Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. I highly recommend Dr. Ward Bond to you as a speaker, educator, and minister. His knowledge and expertise will greatly impact your life. Invite Dr. Bond to your church or event today. Well, Lori, what do you have for us today? Well, today I'd like to talk about sugar. Ah, okay, and I know the whole world loves sugar. Yes. I will be honest, uh, sometimes I'll, I can have a sweet tooth. But uh, what happens when we actually yeah. ingest sugar into our body? Well, when we ingest sugar, our blood sugar, it spikes super high and then drops super fast. Yeah. Much like throwing this ball up in the air and watching it rapidly fall to the ground. That's our blood sugar. Ah. when we eat sugar, and that's not good. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, is this like, you know, we have foods here on mm -hmm. the uh, on the counter here. Are we talking about these right. kind of foods, or are we just talking about when we sit down, we eat a meal, does our blood sugar automatically just go up and then come down, or is it based on what we're actually eating? It actually is based on what you're eating. So when we're eating products like this white sugar and these tortillas and the soda and the cookies, mm -hmm. that's a quick rise and a rapid rise. And if you if this is triggered, insulin over and over again in your body mm -hmm. when you ingest these products, you create something called insulin resistance. And that is very important in terms of uh, creating health conditions down the road. So it's very important to be mindful of how much insulin you're triggering. Well, explain with insulin resistance because I know mm -hmm. that when I hear the term, it's almost like saying someone has type 2 diabetes. You know, they make insulin in their body, mm -hmm. but their, their cells are not responding to pull it out of the bloodstream. Yes, and it does lead to diabetes. It, you know, this, this resistance. Uh, what happens is, is the cells are not responsive to insulin's healthful effects. Mm -hmm. So what you have is the cells saying, eh, forget it. You know, insulin's job really is, is like a Pac-Man. It likes to gobble up that sugar and, and you know, put it in our muscle cells or our liver. Right. And, uh, you know, we need it there. But when there isn't any more room left, it goes directly to fat. And insulin is your fat storage hormone, and it likes to keep it there. Right. Now, I know that a yes. lot of people, they eat this kind of junk every single day. That's they right. don't think anything yeah. about it. They may be at the office, maybe they're mm -hmm. at home, uh, and they just, you know, they're nibbling throughout the day. Right. So what happens to the nibblers 
and especially with the, mm -hmm. with constant blood sugar rising, does, does it just spike? Does it ever come down if they're just kind of like nibbling throughout the day? Well, the blood sugar comes down. It does, and that's the problem because when you saw that ball mm -hmm. fall to the ground, that is when the body likes to maintain balance. It likes to keep a balance going. So what happens when the blood sugar falls mm -hmm. that drastically? You want to bring the body wants to bring it back up. So what do you do? You reach for more sugar, you know. And this is a problem because it becomes cyclical. Yeah. So uh, the key is to ingest carbohydrates that balance the blood sugar. Okay, so you said something very important here because a lot of people, when they hear the word carbohydrates, right. they're like, oh, no, 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 i got to mm -hmm. stay away from those. But they don't understand that there are healthy carbohydrates which are responsible for normalizing blood sugar. Explain some of those things. That's right. So we have carbohydrates that are called complex carbohydrates or whole. And, you know, uh, some of these could be um, whole grains, mm -hmm fruits, vegetables, all balance the blood sugar. Now, too much fruit can be problematic. Right. But, uh, but in general, you want the whole grains and you want, you know, carbohydrates that are good for you that balance that blood sugar. Yeah, I always tell yeah. people, eat foods that are full of color, they're yes. alive. We have the vitamins, the minerals, the enzymes that we need. Absolutely. You know, t you know a lot of people don't realize, and of course I know you know, Lori, that mm -hmm. if we do eat fruits and vegetables, those enzymes take the stress off the pancreas, which mm -hmm. is responsible for producing insulin when we eat a bunch of junk like this. And another thing that happens when you're ingesting healthy food like this, you're reducing inflammation in the body. And inflammation is very important in terms of creating optimal health because inflammation is the core cause of most illness, mm -hmm. disease, and faster aging. Well, you brought up a, a, a very important word here, inflammation. Mm -hmm. And now I know that a lot of my viewers are thinking, inflammation, well, that just means I have pain in my joints or I'm hurting here or hurting there. Right. But you're talking about a different form of yes. inflammation. Explain yes. that. There are two types of inflammation. One is acute inflammation, and it gets your attention right away. What, are, what would be an example? It would be a stubbed toe, um, a painful sunburn, a head cold. That's okay. acute inflammation because it's uncomfortable, it hurts, but it's a necessary part of our healing. We need it. Without it, we'd be sitting ducks. Right. So uh, the other type of inflammation I'm talking about here today is low-level inflammation. And that is, uh, like I said, the core cause of most illness, disease, and faster aging and weight gain. And it goes on 24-7 unbeknownst to us. So many people are walking around with low-level inflammation without a clue. It's, it's kind of like having a sore on the uh -huh. inside of your body that doesn't heal. And, and, of course, talking about sugar, sugar mm -hmm. leads to this low level, this silent inflammation. Right. So, in a way, eating junk like this, mm -hmm. we're actually feeding that internal sore. That's absolutely, that's a great analogy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, boy. Yes. That's like, well, I hate to, I don't want to be gross or anything, but that's almost like cutting yourself and picking at the scab and never allowing it to that heal. Is, that is very true. You know, sugar is very addictive. Yes. And sugar is like crack. Oh, yeah. And the food manufacturers are banking on that, knowing you absolutely will buy again. Mm. But if people don't get this out of their diet, they're setting themselves up for faster uh, illness, faster aging, weight gain, such as, you know, heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and the list goes on and on. Well, real really. quick, how yeah. many pounds of sugar does the average person eat a month? Thirteen. 13 pounds of sugar. 13 pounds of sugar. Ladies and gentlemen, that's staggering, if you look isn't right it? here in front of in front of us, that's actually 14 that, pounds of sugar. And some of you, you reach that, you may even exceed it. That's but 13 right. pounds yes. on average. That's a average. Month. That's average. Well, some of you are actually gaining a whole person. So your your mm -hmm. your own clone that you're creating the average is American. a sugar clone. Yes, yeah, it's oh, amazing. Oh, that is dangerous. And not so sweet. No, not so sweet no. at all. Lori, yeah. thank you so you much so for coming on to Think Natural and giving us the thank rundowns. You. you know, ladies yes. and gentlemen, when you go to the grocery store, before you grab something, what do you do? Think Natural. Introducing Nutritional Living's Thyroid Complete. 
Thyroid Complete is a vegetarian blend of tyrosine with herbs, vitamins, and minerals not found in other supplements to help support the proper function of a healthy thyroid gland. Thyroid Complete normalizes and enhances thyroid gland health, improves energy and mood, and controls appetite. Start improving your health today with Nutritional Living's Thyroid Complete. Call 1-800-620-9975 or visit nutritional-living.com. All natural LJ100 has been clinically shown to support energy levels, boost sexual desire and performance, support mental concentration, and may also be used for natural male enhancement. All natural LJ100, the natural way to improve stamina, sexual performance, and energy levels. For more information on LJ100, visit herbal-powers.com or call 877-903-9657 today. Today we're talking about hair loss in women, and I spent a, a lot of time talking about hair loss in today's African American women. And the reason I did that today is because uh, I have a lot of African American women uh, viewers to my show, Think Natural, and I get a lot of questions about, you know, about the hair breakage, the the hair falling out. But in this segment, everything that I have to say has to do with all women doesn't matter what your race your culture where you came from this is strictly for female viewers okay now i've got two products here one is the hair active the one with the black cap and then the, the jar that's the inosoplex and i'm going to talk about those here in a few minutes but ladies i want you to be aware of something i know that i talked about a lot of hair practices and i know that even with Caucasian women, Hispanic women, everybody, you know, every woman in this world wants to look pretty, beautiful, gorgeous, you know, hey, guys, you know, all of us guys, we, you know, we like women with pretty hair, hey, you know, uh, and you, and you want your hair to be pretty, full, shiny, soft, you want it to style it any way you can, and, but in today's society, it seems like the age group gets younger and younger, and many of you women tell me that you're losing hair in the crown of your head. That's right up here at the top, from the front towards the back. That is a hormonal issue. And it doesn't matter if it's estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, but you're getting this conversion into DHT, dihydrotestosterone. What is dihydrotestosterone? Well, it's a hormone you don't really want to have. But uh, what happens is that this DHT collects around the hair follicle. So if you're looking at, and I've given this illustration time and time again, if my finger was the hair shaft, the DHT would collect at the bottom and it would fall out. Well then another hair would replace it, but it'd be thinner. And then DHT collects around the hair follicle again, causes that to fall out, and even a thinner hair is replacing it we've got to stop the conversion but this conversion is getting being found in younger and younger women women should never lose their hair and with the hair active the one with the black cap here is a capsule it's three capsules a day uh, it's a month supply but it supplies the nutrients for your hair and your scalp to provide nutrition first of all we want to give our hair and our scalp what it needs to be healthy that's what hair active does. The added benefit is, is it helps to stop the conversions of your hormones into DHT causing your hair to fall out. Once you get your hair to stop falling out, well, the inosuplex, this is a powder. And our bodies regenerate at night, including your hair. A half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the inosuplex powder mixed with about four ounces of water. It tastes great. Uh, the added benefit is it helps you relax at night. So if your hair is falling out due to stress, the Inosoplex is awesome. But it helps your hair to start growing again. One of the biggest questions that I get about the Healthy Hair Kit is this. Well, if my hair grows back, will it be thicker? The answer is yes. I have seen clients who have used the program who, in their mind, their hair was getting thinner and it not only did their hair come back it got thicker and they are very very happy with that and of course any woman would be happy with that now another question i get is well if i have a spot that is completely bald 
and there's no hair there, will hair come back? General rule of thumb is no, and let me explain why. If the DHT was the reason for the hair to fall out and replace with a thinner hair, eventually what happens when the hair gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner? Eventually, a hair won't come back. The moment the hair won't come back, you got a bald spot. Now, the thing is, is it's like walking around the desert and you just can't point out there in the sand and go, I need a palm tree. It's just not going to pop up. And in this case, that's what happens. And it can be with men or women. So you, if your hair is thinning and you still have, have thinning hair across the top, now's the time to do something about it. That way, you've got something to work with and the Healthy Hair Kit is there to supply the nutrients, stop the hormonal conversions of the DHT, and to get your hair growing again. Third question, what is the third question I always get? When will I see results? Most women tell me that they start seeing improvement in as little as two weeks. It could be the fuzzy little hairs that start to appear again and to, to grow and to thicken the hair up again. Their hair's not falling out. Their hair is starting to finally grow. And ladies, you may not have a hair loss problem, but you got a hair growth problem. Meaning, you've styled your hair, you've decided I'm so bored with this hairstyle, I'm gonna change it, and then you whack it off. And all of a sudden you're like, three weeks later, ah, why did I do that? I need to get my hair growing. But then you find out for the last few months that your hair just really doesn't grow very fast. Mine, personally, my hair grows so fast that I have to get a haircut almost once a month. Uh, because, well, for one thing, I have a, a high protein diet and protein really gets your hair to grow fast. But the Inosuplex helps that hair to grow more effectively. And especially if you're under stress and your hair is falling out of stress, Inosuplex calms the nerves, is great for the heart, great for the brain, great for the liver, so you get a lot of added health benefits than just hair. But in as little as two weeks, you're going to start noticing that your hair is starting to grow again. And remember, our bodies need rest. Our bodies regenerate at night, which is why we rest. It's kind of like we're, uh, perfect example, pretend you're a human cell phone. Well, at nighttime, it's time to plug in, get some sleep, and get recharged, and get ready for the next day. Well, during that regeneration process is when the body needs to regenerate and rest and rebuild. Your hair needs to be rebuilt, and it's done at night. Uh, I have a client, I, I just love her to death, and she tells me she no longer takes the hair active because her hair came back. It's all full and it's all thick, but she goes, I just love the Inosuplex, not because I need my hair to grow. It's because it helps me to relax in the evening to where I can fall asleep more effectively which is fantastic. So today, the, the Healthy Hair Kit is this. It's the hair active, that's the capsule. Uh, no drug interactions, can be taken with all other supplements. Three capsules in the morning, you're done for the day.